Hello, and welcome to Lesson 8.3. We're going to be multiplying fractions less than 1 by a whole number. Make sure that you have pencil and paper ready to take notes on this topic. Let's get started. Tonight, we're going to be learning how you can use a model to multiply a fraction by a whole number. So we're going to start with this question. Raphael practices the violin for three-fourths of an hour each day. He has a recital in three days. How much time will he practice in those three days? So we can use the model below showing three models cut into fourths. Since he has three days to practice, we're going to show three-fourths for each of those three days. Using the model, I'm going to go ahead and shade in how much he'll practice each day. So for day one, he's going to practice for one, two, three-fourths of that day. On day two, same thing. He's going to be practicing for those three-fourths of an hour. And on the third day before his recital, he's going to practice for an additional three-fourths of an hour. So we can show our work off to the side using our model to help us. So each day for three days, Raphael has practiced for three-fourths of an hour. So we can show this as three groups of three-fourths. So our final step in this problem is we need to multiply the whole number, which is his three days, times the parts of the hour that he was practicing. So we'll multiply our three times three-fourths to give us a total of nine-fourths. So we know nine-fourths is actually a fraction greater than one. So let's rename this into a mixed number. Well, we ask ourselves, how many times does 4 go into 9? We know 4 goes into 9 two times with 1 left over for a total of 2 and 1 fourths hours of practice. So we can also use a pattern to multiply. In the first model, up top here, we have two groups of one-sixth. So if we use repeated addition, we could do one-sixth plus one-sixth to give us two-sixths. Same thing for the second model. If we show two groups of two-sixths, we could, again, use repeated addition and show 2 sixths plus 2 sixths for a total of 4 sixths. And same thing for the third. We could show 2 groups of 3 sixths, and again using repeated addition, so 3 sixths plus 3 sixths for a total of 6 sixths, or one whole. So for this problem, I'm going to show you both methods, using multiplication and repeated addition, to give you an example of each for this problem. So for each of these three models, each one shows five-eighths of the whole. So let's start with repeated addition. If our model up top shows 5 eighths. We're adding that to these 5 eighths, and finally adding the last group of 5 eighths for a total of 15 eighths. Now we know, again, that this is a fraction greater than 1, so we ask ourselves how many times does 8 go into 15? We know that it goes in one time, with 7 left over for a total of 1 and 7 eighths. So up top, if we show 
the multiplication of this problem, we're showing three groups. Remember, multiplication is just telling us groups of, so three groups of five eighths. Well, we multiply our three times our numerator because we have three groups of those five eighths for a total of 15 eighths, which again, when we convert that to a mixed number, comes out as 1 and 7 eighths. Let's try this one without the model there to help us. If we're showing two groups of 4 fifths, again, we can use repeated addition, which would be 4 fifths plus 4 fifths, because remember, we're showing two groups for a total of 8 fifths. And you've probably already noticed that this is a fraction greater than 1, so we ask ourselves how many times does 5 go into 8? We can get one group with 3 left over. So on this side, let's show the multiplication of two times, or two groups, of 4 fifths. We multiply our whole number times the numerator for a total of 2 times 4 is 8 fifths. And again, when we convert that to a mixed number, we're able to make one whole with 3 fifths left over. So let's put our learning to work. Lisa makes clothes for pets. She needs five-sixths of a yard of fabric to make one dog coat. How much fabric does she need to make three of those dog coats? Well, what information do we need? We know that it takes five-sixths of a yard to make one, and we're just trying to figure out how much it would take to make three. So if we take our five-sixths of a yard, we can do this a couple different ways. We can do five-sixths plus five six plus five six because she's making now one two three dog coats we get a total of fifteen sixths if we show the multiplication this would be three times five six Remember, we're doing three groups of those five, six, so we multiply the three times five. We end up with 15, six. And again, you guys are geniuses. You notice that this is a fraction greater than one. We ask ourselves, how many times does six go into 15? Well, we have one group of six. Two groups of six would be 12. Three groups would be 18. That's too much. We need to go back to our two groups. How many are left over after 12? 12 goes... 13, 14, 15, so that's 3 sixths. And you could even simplify this further to 2 and 1 half yards of fabric. So let's take a look at our answer choices. So far, we've determined that our answer could either be 15 sixths, 2 and 3 sixths, or 2 and a half. All of those answers are equivalent. So let's look at our answer choices. A is 8 sixths, B is 15 sixths. Make sure we look at all of them just in case. C is 24 sixths, or D is 15. Well, we know it can't be 15 holes, so that's out. 24 sixths, that's not even an answer that we came up with. 8 sixths, again, not an answer that we came up with. 15 sixths is going to be our only option. And you've done it. You've made it to the end of another great video. We're looking forward to seeing you back at school tomorrow. Make sure to bring your notes so that you're prepared for math class. Good night.